in a fight that was so bad it made me say, at least I'm not watching Shakur Stevenson right now. Here we go into a little bit of Ryan Garcia versus Oscar Duarte, and we're going to talk about a little bit of the flow of the fight, how it went, and how Ryan Garcia got his eighth round stoppage. So first off, most of the fight could have looked like this, controlling a little space. Now, Ryan Garcia has a bad habit of leaving his hand out here. This is not a punch, and he's going to pay for it later. But it allowed him to open up enough space to use his speed to kind of just throw punches, boom, 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 and kind of flood the line in spaces where Duarte wasn't really able to interact with Ryan. Now, there were other times, right? Now, here's going to come forward and to get this little pendulum. He's going to try to get to position to throw a punch. Ryan Garcia scrapes him with a, a left hook here. That's a very, very, very important timing because it's going to come back toward the end of the fight. But here he comes. Again, same timing. He's going to take that step, big step here, pulls down, makes his way across the line. Ryan Garcia intercepts him with the shot. And Ryan Garcia could have done this all fight long, but we're going to talk about some really weird and terrible shit that he was doing instead. Again, controlling space and circling, controlling space. Again, look at him when he leaves his hand out there. He's just leaving it out there. It's not a punch, and he kind of almost gets caught with a left hook. Sometimes in this fight, he did get caught with a left hook. Now, in this case, he sticks it out, and the guy pulls. He comes down, crosses the line, hits him with the right hand. And Ryan catches him with the left hook here. It's very important. He catches him with the shot, catches him with the left hook while he's throwing his left cross. And watch him kind of wobble here. And This is the first round here. He's going to hit him again. And watch him kind of wobble forward here, all right? I think Ryan hurt this guy a few times in the fight, but he just didn't have the confidence to go out there and finish him early in the fight. But I think he hurt him um, a few times in this fight and could have gotten the stoppage a lot earlier without really having to expose so much of his defense. Now, the guy comes in, tries to throw a jab to the chest. Uh, Ryan Garcia immediately counters him. And this is why... Uh, Oscar Duarte was not throwing punches on the outside. He didn't want to throw punches to the body. He was getting countered. If he wasn't throwing shots to the head, he was going to get countered, and those punches were going to get taken away, and he was going to risk himself because, again, he was already hurt in this fight. Okay. Now, again, Ryan Garcia never really out of position to boom, 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 and just throw random punches at the line, but very, very poor defense. And now look at him ducking below the waist here a little bit here. We're going to see a lot more of that very, very, very terrible defense from Ryan. Oh, God, was it ugly. Okay, controlling him here again, timing him with the uppercut. Again, a lot of the fight just looked like Ryan Garcia could just do whatever he wanted if he was ready to do something, if he wanted to do something. Jab, jab, here comes a counter, throws a hook here. Now, Ryan Garcia is in this position waiting to be able to throw his left hook. He doesn't get anything from Duarte, right? And Duarte even gave him a little right-hand probe right here. Watch him probe right here, trying to get him to go first. But Ryan Garcia didn't have a lot of courage to go first for some reason, even though he was annihilating him, catching him with really good shots like that. Um, but Ryan Garcia didn't really have an ability to fight off of this jab here. It was a very, very poor jab. It cost him a lot of punches. And again, it exposed his defense when he would stick his hand out there and he wasn't able to actually not only fight off of that punch very well, but he was getting hit off of it because he would stay there. He would stay in a position um, where he could be hit over the top of that very, very, I don't want to say lazy jab, but controlling lead hand, right? Now, again, feints him here, controls that, sh that jab, tries to control it. Now, when he comes here, tries to time him with the hook. Again, this guy, I keep wanting to call him Duplessis, <laughs> uh, but Oscar Duarte here. Very hesitant, right? He didn't want to really fight on the outside. He saw how fast Ryan's hands were. Ryan could pick him off um, in between shots. So he just started trying to get as close as he could to Ryan. And again, Ryan Garcia didn't really have a lot of defense, right? His ability to defend himself and block punches, right? Stay in a position where he could actually attack this guy. He would just completely give his line away here um, because he was afraid of this guy. He didn't really know what to do. And he would duck below the waist and do really, really bad stuff here for defense. And it would cause him to get hit by shots like this, right? He missed this one, but here, this body shot here, just kind of staying on the line, not taking a step. Um, and Derek James was yelling at him to box, you know, move and circle and stuff. But again, look at this defense here, literally illegal to duck below the waist, okay? Now, the fourth round was a mess, okay? Oscar Duarte literally got warned for like everything in the book, hitting back in the back of the head, hitting on the side here, right? Hitting in the back of the head when Ryan Garcia would turn his head away. Look at him turn his head away here. He's going to get hit in the back of the head by an overhand. So Oscar Duarte is not allowed to throw overhands, right? After this this sequence here, he's going to get uh, warned for hitting to the body, right? And Ryan Garcia would systematically use the referee to take away his offense, right? Here, boom, catches him with a good shot. Catches him with a good shot. Ryan's turning away. He's hitting him with both hands here. And the referee's going to step in here. And he's going to warn him. 
He's going to break them up and he's going to tell Duarte not to hit on the back, not to hit on the on the back of the head. And it's Ryan Garcia giving up these targets. What are you supposed to do against the guy who's going to duck below the waist and turn away from you? Right? Again, here comes the referee saving Ryan, right? Controlling the lead hand. Again, Ryan Garcia never stopped being able to just blast the line and just throw hard punches, fast punches and move. He just stopped doing it. You know, he didn't know how to really fight off of his punches or set something up. He would just throw random punches. One, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. You know, just throw hard, hard punches. No rhyme, no reason. Okay. And again, this guy was getting warned for Ryan's poor defense. Look at Ryan. He can't block these punches. He's ducking below the waist. He's pulling away from this shot and he's getting smacked up. You know, this guy was even getting warned for hitting to the body. And we're going to see a little clip of that too. But again, Ryan Garcia's very, very terrible defense when he couldn't keep the guy off of him. Um, and again, this is something I talked about in the beginning of the fight. If the guy could get him in this position, maybe he could win, you know, hit some kind of low here and referee. And then Ryan cries a little bit, you know, oh, come on, ref, protect me while I'm ducking below the waist. Come on. Again, throwing some random pot shots. Boom, boom. Look at him just picking this dude off. And then he would go to these terrible positions where he would just duck below the waist and be cheating where he would refuse to fight. He would hide all the legal targets and be below the waist. We even saw this today in another fight. Uh, I think it was Michael Conlon, where the guy, where Michael Conlon was ducking below the waist because he didn't want to get hit, and the guy couldn't hit him. Trying a little bit of holding. Not that bad of holding, right? But again, look at his back turned away from his opponent. This is illegal, okay? He's trying to do this, right? This is on purpose. Still getting hit, even though the guy can't throw overhand rights. OK, even though the other guy's not allowed to throw a right hand to the head, the guy's still busting Ryan up. And Ryan's defense here is so bad. Now, it does wind up turning into a knockout again. I just want to highlight the poor defense, just terrible, disgusting shit. You know, you just shouldn't get away with this stuff. You know, if you're going to turn your back from your opponent, you know, you should be penalized for it. Now, in the seventh round here. Ryan Garcia timed him coming in. Jab, pendulum, catches him with the right hand or the left hook as he's throwing the right hand. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Again, I think he hurt Ryan or I think he hurt Oscar there, um, but he didn't really capitalize on it. And then in the seventh round, again, he winds up doing the same thing, timing the, the shot here, countering with the hook and actually hurting him here. Again, look at him jump off the line after hurting him and then realizing, oh, maybe I got him. Maybe I got him and kind of opening up. We see him kind of stumble and fumble around again. Um, and Ryan kind of goes, you know, throws a few more punches and gets the stoppage. But this was by no means a good performance by Ryan Garcia. This was, you know, Ryan Garcia barely did enough. OK, number one, he didn't recognize all the times that he would actually hurt this guy. And he hurt him a few times. He wasn't able to fight off of his own jab. He would be throwing this punch, and he got countered more times than he would fight off of it. His best traps were when the guy was standing basically still and would throw one punch, and he would try to counter him. But Ryan Garcia's performance tonight, you know, I'm not – he said that he was talking like, oh, you know, this is my first camp with uh, Derek James. You know, it's our first fight. This isn't that. This is terrible. All right? This is an, a bad fight for him. Um, he didn't actually look any better. You know, he didn't actually look any better. Ducking below the waist, that defense was terrible, right? Isn't Derek James supposed to be teaching this guy how to catch and block punches? Doesn't that what he, doesn't he practice that on the mitts? Why is Ryan Garcia stepping with almost every one of his punches and with his controls? He winds up stepping with one of his controls and getting clocked over the top. You know, this was a, you know, I want to say this was a terrible performance from Ryan. The fact that he can just knock this guy out is the only reason that he won this fight. You know, he won a couple of the early rounds. Some of them were like, you know, close because Ryan would get smacked. But there were two rounds in there where Ryan Garcia did almost nothing but run and duck below the waist and, you know, try to convince his opponent that he was cheating when he would punch him in the face. Now, again, at least it wasn't Shakur Stevenson. Right. Talking about how the fans are the delusional ones. Right. The fans, the people, you know, who saw what was going on in the ring while Shakur Stevenson literally just ran and tried to pot shot. He wasn't even landing jabs and people gave him credit for landing punches. This delusional little psycho. Now, his his delusion is just as much as as Ryan Garcia's delusion about defense here. OK, 
Ryan's defense was just so bad, ducking below the waist, sitting in his like Philly shell, not countering from the Philly shell, right? Just ducking below the waist. And, you know, at least he wouldn't always hold after, right? He would, you know, kind of wait for the referee to frivolously break them up for no reason. Like, just weird shit, you know? So anyway, um, I think that the referee won this fight for Ryan, protecting him while he did his his terrible defense, preventing the guy from throwing body shots at him, preventing the guy from throwing basically any right hands at all. And Oscar Duarte was still able to land the right uppercut on the inside while he's leaning to his back foot. Like, what an acrobatic punch that he threw there, you know? So anyway, to be honest, um, uh, I think that this was a terrible fight for Ryan. Um, he should have been able to like, he should have been able to dominate this guy and make this an easy fight. It should have been easy. Um, I think that splitting with Derek James is probably a good idea because here's the thing, Ryan Garcia, you're not going to be that much big or that much, so much bigger for the weight class than now, right? It's only going to get worse. Your opponents are going to be getting bigger. You're going to need to be able to block these punches. You're going to need to be able to do this stuff. You're not just going to get you know, the extra nod from the referee for ducking below the waist and cheating with your defense and turning away and tricking the whole world into thinking that you had good defense and then scoring a random knockout. You're not going to last seven rounds fighting like that against you know, top marquee fighters. Teofimo Lopez is not going to let you last seven rounds like that. I'm not sure about that. I don't know, actually, because, you know, Tiffima Lopez is sometimes inconsistent, but, you know, still one of my favorite fighters. Uh, still very, very, very high ceiling. Very, very talented. Subrio Matias. Matias? God, you guys love to correct me on that shit. The only thing you guys know about boxing is how to say that guy's name, apparently. Thanks for coming to my channel for everything else. But that guy, I think that would be a big problem for Ryan Garcia. Um, because Ryan Garcia doesn't believe in his power. You know, he cracked this guy clean, hurt him clean in the first round. He could have had an, a sensational night of boxing if anyone in his corner told him, you heard him, throw some punches, punch this dude in the face. But, you know, I don't know what, what his corner was watching. Um, you know, I don't know what his corner was teaching him, to be honest. Like, he did not fight off of his jab very well. He did not, you know, it was... It was a sad performance, to be honest. It was not very good. But again, at least it wasn't Shakur Stevenson versus uh, uh, De Los Santos. And, uh, you know, I guess we've got one more big fight coming, right? We, you know, to be honest, like, pretty blessed boxing time. Normally, this is the worst time in boxing. Like, the holidays are just terrible. But we just had a Shakur Stevenson sleepover. Right? Everyone got a good night's sleep that night. And then we have Ryan Garcia fighting tonight, which was, you know... Pretty exciting, but because the level of skill was so low, I'll say, I don't know. And then we're going to have Devin Haney versus Pro Gray, which is, you know, a pretty exciting fight. Pretty exciting fight. I'm pretty interested in it. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see. You know, Pro Gray has been one of my favorite fighters for a long time uh, since I started my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I think he's really, really talented. It may not be enough. You know, it may not be enough. Uh, Devin Haney looks pretty big, you know, um, if pro gray has the same problem where he finally lands a hard shot and he doesn't try to jump on, uh, Devin Haney, Devin Haney may be able to, uh, you know, shoulder roll and duck and dodge and, you know, hide his chin. No, I don't, I don't know. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. I'm not super confident, um, about this one. I'm not super confident, but, uh, anyway, who is Ryan Garcia going to be fighting with a defense like this? Teofimo Lopez, he'll spark you. He'll knock you out. Regis Progre, if he catches you when you're doing that dumb shit, he'll knock you out. Subrio Matias, Matias. He hits hard enough. People don't know how hard this guy hits, but this guy hits hard enough to knock you out too and make you pay. You know, his, his hands are fast. He throws quick shots. So anyway, um... You know, poor, poor fight from Ryan. The offense, you know, his offense, I give a C minus. OK, C minus and his defense, he gets a D. This was terrible defense. If Ryan wasn't fast, he would lose this fight for sure. So anyway, 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that stuff. Whatever. Later, guys.